Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and I'm going to do my October TBR for 2018. Um, most of my books here are ones I'm going to do for Victober. I'm participating in that, but I'm also participating in another read along just for the heck of it, because I want to read this series, uh, fantasy series. So I'm going to probably add that in too. So I'm not going to be like strictly all Victorian literature. I was hoping to do that, but I've done a lot of um, readathons recently, or you know, read-alongs that have been. I've been reading certain kind of books all the time, and I feel like all my fantasy has been pushed to the side. So I'm trying to still read some of that. I have tons to read. I don't have much. I don't have any sci-fi this month, but it's like I, it's been months since I feel like I've read a lot of fantasy, and so um, soon I'm gonna have to do like a month of it or something. I'm just way behind on all the stuff I've bought. So. Anyway, sorry to get started. So um, I'm just going to talk through what I'm in the middle of, the book I'm in the middle of reading, as well as the audiobook that's going to be in my car, and then um, all the Victober reads, as well as the readathon that I want to do. That's fantasy. So, oops, sorry. So the book I'm in the middle of right now is Bloody Rose by Nicholas Eames. So this is a fantasy um, about halfway through. Um, has to do with mercenaries who are... Um, who are considered like rock stars in their time and uh they're going on uh to do a big adventure well the all the other mercenaries are going off and um going after a horde of monsters that are gathering and wrecking havoc so there's like they're doing them the group that's in this book is doing one thing while everybody else is going to do the other one so i'm sure they're going to be connected by the we're getting to the middle where I'm getting things are starting to kind of get kind of interesting because um, the first part was a little bit episodic and so I think it's now we're kind of getting to the meat of the story so I am enjoying that and I'm hoping to finish that off in the first couple days of October and then continue into <laughs> some other things but I, this is left over from my vacation um, that I had just recently so I want to finish that up so the read-along that I want to do that's beyond Victober is, oh, it's the Faithful and the Fallen uh, one that uh, Frankie Reads is doing between now and into February. So the first book we're doing in, we're supposed to do in October, the second book in November, and then the third and the fourth are split up kind of six weeks each, um, December through February. So um, I've not read this series. The first book is Malice. I do have it on my shelf, so I did want to try it. It is a you know epic fantasy, so it's definitely something I enjoy. So I've and I've been wanting to try this one for a while. So I don't know anything about this series other than that, and that other people like it. So um, I do want to try to read this this month. I just have a feeling that I'm going to have trouble with this, but I want to at least attempt it to at least start it and to maybe try to read a few pages a day. I'm not sure. Um, I have to. I still have to look up how much. Um, you're supposed to read per day to get it done within the month. I don't actually know what that is. So I have to figure that out. But I'm hoping to get through that. So then I have all my Victober reads. So yay. Um, so I have quite a few. And so I've kind of you know, put them here in a stack. And then I have a few extras that I would like to get to. But I'm being over ambitious about most of this. So um, the first prompt is to read a book by one of um, the hosts, um, which is um, their favorite authors. Um, the hosts are Katie at Books and Things, Kate Howe, Anne at Beyond the Pages, and Lucy the Reader. I'll have at least one of their videos listed down below. We'll see if I have time to put everything, but um, I'll have the list down below of all the prompts that I'm talking about as well. Um, but the first one was one of their favorites, and I believe it was Ange who had Thomas Hardy. So I picked Far From the Maddening Crowd. So um, this one I'm hoping to get to. Um, I have been collecting a couple of his books over this last year, and I have yet to read one. So I heard about this last year in October, and I've been wanting to read it for a year. So it has to do with a woman who I think inherits... Uh, farm and so in this day and age that's kind of odd that she's running the farm and there are three guys who are three men who are vying for her attention but I don't know a whole lot about it um as I said I've started collecting a few Thomas Hardy books so I would like to get to one of them 
Um, the next prompt, oops, I got confused. My brain went down. Oh, uh, is to read a book with a proper name in it. So that one is Lady Autry's Secret uh, by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this, except I know people were raving about this last year. So I remember I bought it during October or after it last year. And it's been on my shelf all year and I've been wanting to get to it. So I know this has to do with the new Lady Autry who comes to the the area and I think she has some kind of secret but I guess even if you figure out what the secret is it's still a really enjoyable read so I don't know a whole lot about it I just know it's one of the sensational novels so I, I did want to get to that um the next one was to read a book that took place either in the first 10 years or the last 10 years of the Victorian period so the book I picked up was one in the last um, 10 years. I don't remember the dates, the beginning dates, but I think the last ones was to 1901. So backtracking to 1891, I found a book in 1893 by George Gissing, um, The Odd Women. And I've heard of this on a couple of people's channels over this last summer, actually. So I've been kind of wanting to read this. And I know it has to do with two older women um, and what they have to deal with, I guess. So it just, it sounds interesting. So I did want to read that. Um, and then, okay, so here we have um, number four, which is a written, a uh, book written by women anonymously or under an assumed name. So I have two books here. This is the book I want to read, which is The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. I read Agnes Gray last year and, and super enjoyed that. So I really want to read her other book that we have. Um, and it just has to do with a woman who moves into a new town and um you know all the stuff that's talked about her talked about um but the other book which technically i could put for the fifth prompt as well as another one um the fifth prompt is to read and watch a um, adaptation of it and i'm sure there is an adaptation of this I've, I've just never watched any of them but it could be this one or the thomas hardy is the other one i put down for this but um Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. So I've had this book on my shelf since college. So that's quite a long time ago. And I've never read it. I've never wanted to read it. I picked it up on a whim, I think, one day there. And I've just, I've carried this book around to all the places I've lived, but I've never even attempted to read this. And one of my best friends was talking to me just a little while ago. And she was amazed when I told her I had never read this book. And she was, it's one of her favorites. So of course she wants me to read it. And I'm like, I don't know. We don't always have the same taste in books. So, um, anyway, so this is one of my, this is my top book of that I never wanted to read <laughs> that I own <laughs> or, you know, the product one I'll probably never read. And even though I own it, um, but I might give this a shot. So I put this on the last prompt because I don't know because I don't know we'll, we'll we'll see if I get to them so um there is also a read-along on um, for the whole group for the month and that's Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to pick up this big of a book this month when I'm already going to read that fantasy book Mal Malice so I'm not quite sure I'm going to read this with the group I do want to read this at some point because I loved North and South earlier this year but I think I might pick up one of her smaller books or earlier books that aren't so big. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I have a couple options like Mary Barton or um, Cranford. And um, I think Cranford has an adaptation as well. So I could use that. Anyway, point is, is that I hope to read some Elizabeth Gaskell. I just don't think it's going to be The Wives and Daughters. I think right now is not the time for me to read that. I think that's over super over ambitious. And then the last two books are books by authors that I read last October that I would like to read. One of them is the next book in the series. So I would like to read um, Barchester Towers by Anthony Trollope. I don't, I think it's the Barchester series, um, Chronicles of Barchester. So um, I read The Warden last year and I um, enjoyed it. I, I knew it wasn't the best of the series. Um, I know that they get better as they go along. So um, I did finish that, but I would really like to get to the second book so I can continue on with the series. Cause I did enjoy, I still enjoyed the book. It just wasn't my favorite. So, um, but I would like to read that. But again, it's extra. So 
I don't know if I will. And then the other one I'd like, I'd like to read another Wilkie Collins. Um, this one is Jezebel's Daughter. Um, I don't know is that I just picked up a whole bunch of his books. I still have quite a few to buy, um, but I've enjoyed two of his, you know, the big ones, uh, The Woman in White and The Moonstone um, during this year. So I would like to read this as well, you know, as well. So this one has to do with a mother um, who's, I guess, manipulates and does stuff uh, to have her daughter have a good future. So anyway, <laughs> it's all sensational. It'll be fun. And then um, the only other thing I want to say is I have an audiobook in my car right now um, that I'm listening to all the Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, it, they're re read by Stephen Fry, so they're really good. And I've only read the first novel, um, A Study in Scarlet. Um, Steve Donahue is doing his um, Sherlocktober, or however it says that. So I want to catch up because, um, again, I took a couple weeks off when I was on vacation. I didn't get to listen to any audiobooks. So I want to try to catch up and then, uh, as I said, listen to this as, um, as the month goes on um, and then watch his videos. So I'll be doing that as well. So... <laughs> I got a lot going on in October. I also have to plan my uh, National Novel Writing uh, Month uh, book. So that's NaNoWriMo. So I'm all like thinking, like I'm starting to put my own story back together. And then I'm going to be reading all this stuff. This will be interesting. So anyway, are you guys doing Victober? What are you guys reading? Are you reading any of this stuff? Uh, let me know and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.